But the best part, you never know what's gonna come through that door. This is Pawn Stars. People who enjoyed watching the History Channel have probably seen at least one episode of the critically acclaimed reality series Pawn Stars, which followed the late businessman Richard Benjamin Harrison Jr. and his son Ricky as they're running their own gold and silver pawn shop. Richard attracted the audience with his vast knowledge of history and his ability to evaluate the items that people brought into their store. Essentially, the store is a conduit for buying and selling mostly unusual items. As depicted in the show, Richard, the old man, was born in Danville, Virginia on the 4th of March, 1941. His zodiac sign was Pisces. He held American nationality and was of Irish descent. Richard's grandson, Corey, has claimed that the family are related to former U.S. President Benjamin Harrison and William Henry Harrison. But Richard wasn't convinced. He was raised in Lexington, North Carolina by his father, Richard Harrison Sr., and mother, Ruth Harrison. And because he didn't speak of having any siblings, most people believe that Richard Harrison was an only child. The family moved to Lexington when he was a year old and were very poor then. Wanting to help his family, Richard started driving a school bus when he was only 14 years old. He would park it close to his home every night and would get up early each morning to pick up children and drive them to school, for which Richard was paid $5 a week. He attended Lexington High School, but upon articulating in 1959, didn't enroll in college. In 1958, Richard fell in love at a barn dance after having met Joanne Rue, daughter of County Judge Joseph Rue, who eventually became one of the main lawyers for the tobacco corporation Philip Morris. After being together for two years, Richard asked Joseph for his daughter's hand, and they were married in a large ceremony attended by many of their friends and family members. In the same year that Richard met Joanne, he stole a car, and the judge gave him the option of joining the military or going to prison. He joined the U.S. Navy in October 1958, occasionally traveling home to be with his girlfriend. Joanne became pregnant not long after the wedding, and their daughter Sherry was born with Down syndrome. Joanne subsequently gave birth to their three sons, Chris, Rick, and Joseph. Richard quit the Navy in February 1962, but because of the cost of his daughter's medical treatments, he re-enlisted a year after to take advantage of the health care benefits provided by the Navy. Despite the doctor's best effort, Sherry died when she was six years old. Nevertheless, Richard remained in the Navy and went on to serve for 20 years, reaching the rank of Petty Officer First Class and working as a paymaster. He was transferred to San Diego, California in 1967, where Joanne became a real estate agent in 1970 and then opened her own office three years later. Between 1972 and 1976, Richard was on the fleet tug USS Chuanok, one of the four ships on which he served. He then started working at his wife's office, but they closed it in 1981. After Richard lost around $1 million because of the real estate business, which left Richard with only $5,000, the family moved to Las Vegas, Nevada, and Richard and Rick opened a gold and silver coin shop at 1501 Las Vegas Boulevard. They remained there for five years prior to moving the business to 413 Fremont Street, but where they stayed for only two years as father and son had lost a lease. Richard obtained a license to purchase and sell secondhand goods in 1987, and two years later they opened the world-famous gold and silver pawn shop at 713 Vegas Boulevard South, the store which eventually made them popular all around the U.S. People mostly came to gold and silver to buy or sell jewelry. After 20 years, Richard and Rick had an inventory of more than 12,000 items, around 5,000 of which were held on pawn. Richard didn't skip a day of work between 1994 and 2010, and even if he didn't appear in an episode of the reality show, he was still the one who opened the store early in the morning, but left before the episode was filmed. After their show started airing on the 19th of July 2009, Richard and Rick's shop saw a great number of customers each day ranging up to 700. It was estimated that in 2011 and 2012, between 3,000 and 5,000 people came to the store every day, some simply attracted to have a look at the TV stars as well as the store. Richard starred in porn stars until his death, alongside his son Rick, grandson Corey, and Corey's friend Austin Chumley Russell. People soon got to think of Richard as a grumpy old man, to which he simply said that that was his role in the show. In only the first two months of its airing, Porn Stars became the most watched show on the History Channel and was also the highest rated, while it was the second highest rated reality show on all channels, with Jersey Shore in top spot. The show focuses on people who bring in unusual, unique, or antique items to the store. When Richard and Rick can't determine its value, they call in an expert in that field, who gives his or her opinion on the item to both the customer and Richard or Rick. 
Pawn Stars also followed the relationship between Richard, Rick, Corey, and Chumley, who could often have been seen arguing over items and about how to run the store. After the show had made their store a tourist attraction, and more and more people started coming in, they eventually hired over 30 employees, and over time, expanded the showroom from 300 square meters to 15,000 square meters. Richard had also allowed the equipping of a gym above the store for employees, and they also started selling their own brand merchandise. The show has been nominated for seven awards, winning four, but also Mayor Oscar Goodman presented Richard, Rick, Corey, and Chumley with the key to the city of Las Vegas in March 2010, and on the 26th of May 2012, they were grand marshals for the History 300 NASCAR race. Three days after the race, Richard was presented with the key to the city of Lexington by Mayor Clark Newell, and 29th of May 2012 became Richard Harrison Day in the city. The Clark County Commission decided that the 17th of July 2012 would be Pawn Stars Gold and Silver Pawn Day. At the meeting, Richard donated $1,000 to the Clark County Museum. He also lent the U.S. Senate a chair, which was used by Senator Patrick McCarran, who represented Nevada between 1933 and 1954. Richard was invited to appear in numerous other shows, but generally preferred not to, which is why he could only be seen in four other TV series and specials. In 2010, he was featured in the episode Hop Along Rick of the reality show American Restoration, and he also appeared in the TV special The 2011 American Country Awards. We also saw him guest star in the 2014 episode Electric Ride of the reality show Counting Cars and the 2016 episode Embellished Weapons of the show Midway USA's Gun Stories. Following his death, pictures and videos of Richard were part of the 2019 short documentary film Neil Breen's Fateful Findings co-star David Silva in Left Field Pictures Porn Stars. In May 2012, Richard and Rick were sued by the Vietnam veteran Daniel Callahan, who claimed that the two didn't have proper security at the store, which was why he was dragged out of it and tossed into the street. Richard claimed that it all happened after they'd got into a heated argument over a rifle that he'd purchased from them and asked for $20,000 for his injuries. In the same year, Richard and his shop were sued by the Las Vegas promoter Wayne F. Jeffries, who claimed that he'd helped them launch their show in history and was fired after it had become popular. Case dismissed. Richard became passionate about cars while he was still a teenager and started collecting them after he had bought his first through his pawn shop. His personal favorite was his 1966 Imperial Crown. It took Richard 15 years to persuade its former owner to sell it. He owned a 1957 Chevy 150, which was given to him as a gift by the stars of the reality shows American Pickers, Counting Cars, and American Restoration. He also owned a mid-1960s B&Z Electric King electric car, which he believed could have been turned into a golf cart. In the show Pawn Stars, Richard could mostly have been seen driving his 1962 Cadillac DeVille, while a couple of other cars which he owned included a 1963 Chrysler Imperial 4-door, a 1937 Oldsmobile 6, and a 1955 Ford F100 pickup. Richard passed away aged 77 on the 25th of June 2018 after having struggled with Parkinson's disease, survived by his wife, three sons, ten grandkids, and five great-grandkids. Richard left his estate and business to his son Rick, while he intentionally left his youngest son Christopher Keith Harrison out of his will, part of which read, I would like to express my love and affection for Christopher Keith Harrison. However, for the purposes of this will, I have intentionally and with full knowledge failed to provide for him and his issue. Following Richard's death, the commemorative episode, A Treasure Remembered of Pawn Stars, was shot and premiered on the 27th of June 2018. His son, Richard Kevin Rick Harrison, was born in Lexington on the 22nd of March 1965. His zodiac sign is Aries, and he holds American nationality. He spent only the first two years of his life in Lexington, as his father was then transferred to San Diego, and the family followed him there. Rick began having epileptic seizures when he was eight years old and fell in love with reading mostly because he had to spend a lot of his time confined to his bed. Rick's favorite was a series of books, The Great Brain, by John D. Fitzgerald, which follows a 10-year-old con artist from Utah, who's great at coming up with money-making schemes. He studied at Taft Middle School, but dropped out age 16 after his family moved to Las Vegas. At around the same time, Rick started dating Kim, and she became pregnant a lot long afterwards, but suffered a miscarriage. The two still chose to marry, and on the 27th of April, 1983, Kim gave birth to their son, Corey, and to their son, Adam, two years later. However, not long after Adam was born, Kim and Rick separated. He met his future second wife, Tracy, on a blind date. The two dated for half a year prior to moving in together, and eight months later, they exchanged vows in a private ceremony. 
They have a son together named Jake. At that time, Rick was making around $2,000 a week by selling fake Gucci bags, stopping after he and his father opened the world-famous gold and silver pawn shop. His son Adam spent some time working at their pawn shop, but eventually quit and became a plumber. In 2012, after having divorced his wife, Rick revealed that he was engaged to Deanna Burdett, who also had two failed marriages behind her. Rick and Deanna married on the 21st of June 2013 in Laguna Beach, California. Rick is interested in politics. He supported Donald Trump in both the 2016 and 2020 presidential elections and has hinted that he might run for governor of Nevada in 2022. Meantime, he continues working in the world-famous gold and silver pawn shop. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.